We're about to take a ride through the M-City Laboratory. This is the world's first purpose-built test facility to test connected and automated vehicles. And we're going to do it in a vehicle, an automated vehicle built right here at the University of Michigan. So let's go take a look. As we enter the facility, let's think about why these technologies are important. Well, because they have a huge potential to change society. We can look forward to a dramatic reduction in fatalities on the roadways. We can also look forward to reduced um, congestion, reduced carbon emissions, and reduced fuel consumption. However, this technology is, uh, is, is still evolving, and that's why we built M-City. M-City was built in partnership with College of Engineering faculty and faculty across campus to identify the scenarios that will uh, really give these vehicles uh, a run for their money. And so we've built in lots of small elements. So over to the right, you can see we have a meandering gravel path. Uh, that's challenging for the vehicles when vegetation is growing and the uh, sides of the roads are not clear. We're crossing now over a metal bridge the metal graded bridge ca can cause problems for systems such as radar. Uh, the reflection of that bridge might make it appear that there's a vertical wall in front of the vehicle. So we have to rely on the other systems on the vehicle to understand uh, that in fact there is no wall in front of the vehicle and we should proceed. Uh, to the left you can see we have a simulated overpass. That's important because it creates somewhat of a Faraday cage around the vehicle. Communication that's important for uh, the vehicle to locate itself is blocked. The cameras can sometimes be obscured. And so these are challenging scenarios, just like this railroad crossing. We need to make sure that the car is able to navigate all of these scenarios in all conditions. So what we've been able to do here, which is really exciting, is pack a really dense, rich research environment that faculty and industry can benefit from every day. So now we're approaching the heart of the M-City Lab downtown. And you can see here we have building facades. Uh, they're set 17 feet back from the curb. This simulates a downtown urban Ann Arbor environment. So you can imagine sidewalk cafes. We can create Ann Arbor on a Friday night uh, in July here any day of the week. And that allows us to explore all of the challenges these vehicles face in such a dense environment, especially when we have pedestrians in our path pedestrians and bicyclists in this urban environment add to the variability that these vehicles need to navigate, such as this, this pedestrian here. Uh, then uh, you can see we're also entering a roundabout. Roundabouts are uh, very common in, in Europe, but also becoming more and more common in the U.S. And they often require a bit of interaction between humans to sort of wave each other through and, and indicate right of way um, when two cars approach at a similar time. The reason we're concerned about pedestrian safety is that out of the 35,000 annual fatalities in road traffic accidents, roughly 20% are vulnerable road users. That's bicyclists, pedestrians. Uh, and so we want to make sure that these vehicles uh, help to, to, to remove those fatalities as well if possible. To that end, we're also exploring how we can have vehicles communicate with cell phones so that when the pedestrians are obscured, we can still see them by communication like we have in this case. So here the pedestrian received a warning from the vehicle and uh, was able to step out of the path and the vehicle also received a warning. The pedestrian was entering the path and would have been able to brake if he had not um, heeded the warning and stepped out of the path of the vehicle. So really we have the best of both worlds here um, with the vehicles that we can uh, test as well as this unique environment um, for, our, for our researchers and industry partners to come and explore safely together.